Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome back to the introductory Ecolometrics course. We will continue our solutions to Chapter 15. Instrumental Variables Estimation and Two-Stage Least Squares. We will solve computer exercises 9 and 10 today. Let's look at exercise 9. The purpose of this exercise is to compare the estimates and standard errors obtained by correctly using two-stage least squares with those obtained using inappropriate procedures. In part 1, we use a two-stage least squares routine to estimate the equation, where siblings is the IV for education. Report the results in the usual form. In Stata, we use the command IV regress to perform the two-stage least squares. We write 2SLS after the command to tell Stata the method we use. Then we write the outcome variable log wage and the exogenous explanatory variables experience, tenure, and black. After that, we write the endogenous explanatory variable education and the additional instrumental variable siblings inside a parenthesis. There is an equal sign between them. We can also report the first stage regression with the first option. The estimated two-stage least squares equation is as follows. In part 2, we manually carry out two-stage least squares. That is, run the first stage regression of education on siblings, experience, tenure, and black, and obtain the fit values, education hat. Then, run the second stage regression log wage on education hat, experience, tenure, and black. Verify that the beta hats are identical to those obtained from part 1, but that the standard errors are somewhat different. The standard errors obtained from the second stage regression when manually carrying out two stage least squares are generally inappropriate. We manually carry out the two stage least squares and compare the estimates with those from part 1. The two-stage least squares procedure contains two OLS estimations. The first OLS is to regress the endogenous explanatory variable on all the exogenous variables, including the excluded IV and those in the structural equation. It is called the first stage regression, or the reduced form equation for education we obtain the fit values of the endogenous variable, which is part of the endogenous variable explained by the exogenous variables. The second OLS is to replace the endogenous variable education in the structural equation with the fit values of education from the first stage regression and estimate the model. We find that beta hats are identical to those from part 1, but the standard errors differ. In part 3, use the following two-step procedure which generally use inconsistent parameter estimates of the betas, and not just inconsistent standard errors. In step 1, regress education on siblings only and obtain the fit values, 
say education tutor. Note that this is an incorrect first stage regression. Then, in the second step, run the regression of log wage on education tutor, experience, tenure, and black. How does the estimate from this incorrect two step procedure compare with the correct two stage least squares estimate of the return to education? We carry out the incorrect two stage least square procedure and compare the estimates with the correct one in the table. Again, we use the estimates store command and the stab command to do that. We find that both the estimates and the standard errors are different. Let's find answers to computer exercise 10. In part 1, we run a simple OLS regression of log wage on education. Without controlling for other factors, what is the 95% confidence interval for the return to another year of education. According to the simple regression, the 95% confidence interval is from 0 0.088 to 0 0.114. In part 2, the variable C in thousands of dollars is the change in college tuition facing students from age 17 to 18. So that education and the change in tuition are essentially uncorrelated. What does this say about the change of tuition as a possible IV for education in a simple regression analysis? The regression of education on the change in tuition shows no significant correlation between them. The change in tuition is not a valid instrument variable for education because the instrument relevance requirement is not satisfied. In part 3, we add to the simple regression model in part 1, a quadratic in experience and a full set of regional dummy variables for current residents and residents at age 18. Also include the urban indicators for current and age 18 residences. What is the estimated return to a year of education? The estimated coefficient on education is 0 0.137. It implies that another year of education increases wages by 13.7%, or accurately 14.7%, holding experience and regional variables in the model fixed. In part 4, again using the change in tuition as a potential IV for education, estimate a reduced form for education, so that the change in tuition is now statistically significant in the reduced form equation for education. The first stage regression shows that the coefficient on the change in tuition is minus 0 0.165 with a t-statistic of minus 2.77 and a p-value of 0 0.006. Now it becomes statistically significant at the 1% level. In part 5, we estimate the model from part 3 by IV using the change in tuition as an IV for education. How does the confidence interval for the return to education compare with the OLS confidence interval 
from Park Street. We estimate the model by two-stage least squares with the change intuition as an IV for education. The 95% confidence interval is from 0.012 to 0.488. It is much wider than the OLS confidence interval from 0.119 to 0.155 due to a much larger standard error for the two-stage least squares estimate. In Park 6, do you think the IV procedure from Park 5 is convincing? It is not convincing. Park 2 shows that the instrumental variable, the change in intuition, is essentially uncorrelated with the endogenous variable, education, in a simple regression. Although the multiple regression shows a correlation between them, it raises the suspicion that the correlation between them is sensitive to the choice of control variables. The instrument relevance requirement is not firmly satisfied. Moreover, the two-stage least squares estimates 95% confidence interval is too wide to be useful. Thank you very much for doing the computer exercises with me today. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.